heavy rain outside. Uh, you can hear the sound of the lightning. That's noise. Hi friends, I am Dr. Saki. Today I am going to introduce my new video, uh, electronic project. Uh, this is a crystal radio. A crystal radio with a simple, easy to make transistor amplifier, audio amplifier. You can see the different sections or the parts of this radio. Here, this is the first segment, first part. This is the demodulation that takes place here. As you know, the signals, radio, radio waves uh, comes here and the demodulation takes place. It's chop of the carrier frequency and the, it's done by a powerful diode. You can see here, Bell OS7 and Germanian diode. As you know, the Germanian diode it works better than silicon diode because the forward current, very little amount of current is needed to operate that Germanian diode. So the signal strength, when it's very weak, it can perform well. That's the advantage of Germanian diode. Now it's very difficult to get a Germanian diode. Most of the companies stop the production of Germanian diode. This is Bell Labs. OA79 diode. I salvaged it from an old junk radio and this is an especially made antenna coil. The ferrite rod is very long, approximately 20 centimeter and I salvaged it from an old Sony deck and this is on a vertical uh, inductor. This is a tabbed inductor you can see here and this is, um, a, perfect, this is a perfect inductor. It's made of Litz wire. A lot of wires twisted together, individual insulated wires. That's Litz wire. It has got very uh, cube factor, just because of it prevent the leakage uh, current and all. And the main advantage of this crystal radio is it utilizes very little amount of power. This is a nine volt. Chinese battery. The battery longevity is very good. Previously I used a transformer, audio transformer, but the um, power needed to, the thrust needed to operate the um, uh, speaker was very, it was, it need more power. It needed more power. So I removed it and, and I placed a simple transistor amplifier here. And the sensitivity is good. But uh, the cloudy days, uh, the noise is very high. Here you can see a filter composed of electrolytic uh, capacitor and um, disc, silver disc uh, ceramic capacitor. It filter the unwanted noise, you can see here. It's a must of for the crystal radio. A lot of crystal radio designs are available on uh, in, in it, but this is a particular type which uses very simple type of amplifier, audio amplifier. There's a main advantage of this crystal radio amplifier. You can use either horizontal or vertical inductor.
and you can uh, modify it using RF chocks etc. This is a crude form of a uh, radio. It's very far away its capabilities from uh, the super heterodyne radio. It's a simple radio. It's a fun project. But it's very efficient. That's the advantage. To make the injector, the rule of thumb is <coughs> sorry for that. Uh, this coil, this vertical one, it's a tapped one. It can tune uh, almost all shortwave bands on commercial broadcast. Sorry. And this is a horizontal inductor and it can uh, tune to uh, using this one the horizontal one we can tune to the medium wave band medium wave and this is used for short wave uh, general rule of thumb is if you, do, you have a lc meter it will be very helpful to wind this uh, inductor otherwise you can use uh, the golden rule that's it's my invention that uh, a single term can make approximately 2 microfarad sorry micro entry of uh, inductance if you use an lcr meter if you are having an lcr meter it will be very nice otherwise you can use this rule a single turn around the ferrite rod it has a little more inductance but uh, when you use an air core like this and uh, you can use a plastic former the ru um, rule is for a single turn, the inductance is 2 microfarad, sorry, micro entry. So, almost uh, if you use, use uh, 33 microfarad, it can tune to almost all short wave band, um, bands. Uh, uh, approximately 33 micro entry unit. So, the turns must be half of that and for medium wave you can see here the needed inductance is if you use a ferrite rod approximately 250 microfarad sorry micro entry and you can experiment your own formula it's very interesting to experiment on such crude radio This is another type of crystal radio amplifier. Here is the demodulation diode section and the two IC op amps. In my next video project you can expect its circuit and components in detail.